News 46 is brought to you by William H. Jackson Injury Attorneys. Injured? Get Bill and Robin, your local injury attorneys. And Nye County Sheriff's Office deputies arrest a man for a pawn shop theft. The Nye County Sheriff's Office has arrested Robert Polk for grand larceny, possession of stolen property, obtaining money under false pretenses, conspiracy to commit a crime, and habitual criminal at the location of Super Pond right here in Pahrump. According to the declaration of arrest, Nye County Sheriff's Office deputies were dispatched to Super Pond on Highway 160 in reference to a Rolex watch they say was taken approximately one year prior. The reporting party stated that she suspected that the suspect was an employee at Super Pond at the time. She stated that the watch was in the store approximately for two weeks before it came up missing. The Nye County Sheriff's Office went to a website called Leads Online. They were able to pinpoint the watch based on the Rolex model number and a specific serial number. They say that the watch was pawned at Nevada Coin Mart in Las Vegas. The person who pawned the watch returned to the name of Robert Polk. Robert Polk was later identified by a Nye County Sheriff's Office deputy and in fact had been charged multiple times and also did prison with county time for two felony convictions. Polk was located, arrested, and transported to Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center. And the Nye County Sheriff's Office is attempting to locate a stolen vehicle taken from a property on Casey Street here in Pahrump. The car is described as a faded purple 1994 Jeep Grand Cherokee. You can see it right there. If you have any information about this vehicle, please call the Nye County Sheriff's Office at 775-751-7000. You can remain anonymous. The Pahrump Valley High School Band will be performing at the Pahrump Arts Council Art in the Park this weekend. This Saturday, the Pahrump Arts Council is doing their art in the park. Um, so uh, the band and choir will be performing there around noon. Um, there'll be a lot of vendors there. Um, so hopefully it's just another uh, event to get our name out there. And uh, they have generously uh, going to donate some of their proceeds to the music department. It's going to be held at Petrick Park. Um, I want to say the booths open up around 9 a.m. and then it goes till 6 p.m. Uh, the band will be there um, and the choir. Um, also, I have heard some of my high school kids have put together their own rock bands, and yeah. so they'll be performing too as well. If people want to donate to the Pearl Harbor trip, um, can they do that at the park? Yes, they can do that at the park as well. Um, we'll make sure we have adults there and uh, our donation jars while we're performing and walking around the park like we did at the Fall Fest. And that was our kids performing there at our Pahrump Fall Festival this year. Well, here's Mike Colucci to talk about due diligence when it comes to home sales and purchases. Home Matters is brought to you by Trish Rippey Realty, 775-727-4343. Hi folks, I'm Mike Colucci and this is your Home Matters Real Estate segment. In our last segment, we spoke about how to begin the process of purchasing a home. We talked about the first step, which is finding and working with a lender to assist you in obtaining a pre-qualification or even a conditional approval for two reasons. Number one, so you're not looking at homes that don't meet your budget and number two, so a seller knows that when you make an offer, they are dealing with a serious and legitimate buyer. After you've determined your needs and wants, and your real estate professional has assisted you in finding that special property, it's time to make your offer. Assuming your offer is accepted by the seller, what happens next? The first thing, after all the paperwork is done and escrow is opened, your due diligence period, which was determined in the purchase contract, commences. The due diligence period is the time when the buyer can have any inspections performed to determine the viability of the home. Your home inspector will perform a general inspection and provide you with a written report complete with photos and recommendations for any repairs based on his findings. This is the point when you, the buyer, can request any repairs to be done on the property. Keep in mind, though, that the seller is not obligated to do any repairs if they choose not to. However, during this due diligence period, the buyer has the option of canceling the sale if the repairs are not agreed to 
or for any other reason for that matter, assuming that the buyer and the seller are in agreement, the lender will then get to work to provide the necessary forms to process the loan. Once the lender gets a final approval, which depending on the circumstances may or may not take some time, the closing process will commence. Once the seller and the buyer have signed the necessary forms and the loan is funded, the transaction will be recorded by the recorder's office and the sale will be complete. These processes are all laid out in detail in my new book titled, A Complete Guide to Buying a Home. If you'd like a free copy of my book, please call area code 775-990-0488 and leave your information and I'll be happy to make arrangements to get you your free copy. Again, the number is 775-990-0488. Or if you're thinking about selling, call the same number for my other book, Secrets Every Home Seller Needs to Know. Both books are filled with great information to assist you in either the buying or the selling process. And if you have any other real estate related questions, please contact me at 775-764-8211. I'm Mike Colucci, thanks. Thanks so much, Mike. Well, it's that time of year again, and I've been having a hard time getting maintenance people to the house, and I uh, gotta tell you, you gotta watch out who you hire. But today, Matthew Walker is gonna report in this Angie's List about fall home maintenance. We all gotta get ready for winter here in our area. As the last of summer's heat grows into a memory and you're pulling out your jackets more than your flip-flops, it's time to tackle a few simple chores that'll make winter more pleasant. And the first thing to do to prepare for the seasonal change is to check your insulation. Here's a quick tip. If you can see the wood beams in your attic, it's time to add more. So there's a leak right there. The key to keeping cold out is finding out how it's getting in. The first sign of cold is a great time to check the seals around your windows and doors. And an easy do-it-yourself way to do that is to take a candle around in front of the windows lit. And if it flickers, then you probably have a draft that needs attention. If you're starting to see cracks in your caulking, don't worry. It's an easy task with the right tools. Don't go cheap on a caulk gun because then you'll have a caulk gun that stays triggered and then it continues to spread the caulk. So don't get a real cheap caulk gun. Get one that works really well. Before the cold weather really hits, make sure your gutters are clear of leaves and debris. For your own safety, make sure your chimney's clean, service your furnace and change the filter, and show some love to your water heater. You don't want to be stuck without any of these in the dead of winter. Many homeowners don't think about their water heater until it goes out and they get a cold shower, but there is some simple maintenance you can do that can really increase the efficiency of your water heater. Simply by draining the water heater once a year, you can increase its efficiency by 50%. Be sure your summer equipment, such as your lawnmower, is appropriately maintained and stored. Fuel is the biggest issue on uh, storage of a mower over the winter time. Either run it out of fuel and store it completely empty, or stabilize the fuel and store it full. News 46 Weather Cam is brought to you by Glenn Lerner Injury Attorney's Office in Pahrump. In a wreck, need a check? Call 702-877-1500. All right, with the magic of Conrad, he's going to take us outside to that Glen Lerner weather camp. We're going to have Michael Donahue to tell us what's in store for this week in our weather.